Hi, Rory Scott from Bosch and Spirits Table Tennis Club again. This video is going to be on how to do the heavy backspin serve, okay? This video is brought to you by Stag, the company which sponsors me. It's a really good company for all your table tennis needs. I will put the link in the notes and you can have a look and see what they've got. The rubber I recommend is the Peter Carlson Gen 2. It comes in the soft or the hard version. And the blade I'm using is the Combi Carbon Blade. Okay, so there's a few things you need to be thinking about. First thing is to get your service grip. We're doing a forehand serve. So you're going to use your finger and thumb to grip the right hand side of the handle for a right hander. The other three fingers, two of them are on the palm of your hand, one of them might just be slightly gripping onto the handle. That's the first thing. Second thing is, um, you need to have that nice and flat because you're going to be cutting under the bottom of the ball to get backspin. Okay. Third thing to remember is to keep your elbow nice and low, fairly close into your body. That will help you keep the bat nice and level so you can get backspin as opposed to topspin or sidespin. Fourth thing you need to remember is that the bat trajectory needs to follow the ball trajectory. So if your ball is going to go diagonally here, your bat needs to go along that line of the ball. It's got to follow a long line of the ball. As soon as you start to go across that line of the ball, you start to produce side spin. We just want to produce backspin. So we're just going forwards along that line of the ball. And the reason for the grip mentioned earlier is so that you can get more snappy wrist action and more backspin, more spin on the ball. Okay, and ideally as well, we want to keep the ball short. So um, it's got to bounce fairly close to the net on the other side and have a second bounce near the baseline on the other side of the table. Now to do that, when you're doing a lot of spin on your serve, it's best to get the ball to bounce fairly close to your own end line. If you were doing a, a float serve with uh, a, a short, a short float serve, it would be bouncing a bit closer to the net. But for a heavy spin serve, it bounces not on the baseline, but fairly close to the baseline. So, you also notice where I'm standing. I'm off a bit to the left side of the table. My left leg is very close to the corner. And my right leg is further over to the, even more to the left of, of a player who was standing facing the table. And, I'm going to have the ball flat on the palm of my hand before I throw it up. Throw it up nice and straight, at least 16.25 uh, centimetres. Wait till it comes down level with the table. Do the serve, and as I'm doing the serve, I'm going to try and step into my ready position. Okay? So here's a few examples of the short, heavy backspin serve. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the effect of the backspin on the opponent's bat, assuming they're just putting the bat forward with a neutral angle. So it goes almost vertically down into the table. Okay, so now I'm going to play a few backspin serves, short, and Daniel's going to try and return them, and then if he gets them back, we play the rally out. That's a good return. So Daniel's best option is to try and return it back short with two bounces on my side of the table.
And because I'm doing a, a serve which has two bounces, it's harder for Daniel to get a short low return. So some of his pushes are sitting up a bit for me to get in my third ball catch. Good. I'm trying to come in with a really heavy top spin after the serve. Okay, so most of you probably already have a short backspin serve in your game, but thinking about some of the principles I've outlined in this video, it's a good idea, take a bucket of balls, uh, practice your serve up to maybe 20 minutes a day or 20 minutes per set time that you're playing table tennis, and try and work on as much spin as you can, trying to get the short two bounce serve and getting the grip right, and getting into your ready position after the serve and try not to go across the line of the ball, try to go along the line of the ball. So give that a go.